if I said to you that you need to draw a picture of a cat, there's a few underlying skills that, yeah. that you need for that. One is you need to know what a cat looks like. And two, you need to be able to draw, right? So what students do is they kind of say, well, the most important thing is to know what a cat looks like. Get a lot of detail about what the cat looks like. And then my exam technique a week before the test is to draw, draw the cat. And if I can't draw the cat, then obviously I don't know what a cat looks like. And so therefore I'm going to go back and study the details of what the cat looks like, more details, da, 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 da. And then I'm going to go back and then I've, and I'm like, well, the fundamental concept you're missing is, can you draw? Yeah. Because if you've never had drawing classes, it doesn't matter how brilliant your, you know, your understanding of like the anatomy and all the rest of this, the detail of a cat looks like, if you can't draw, you can't draw. And that's an underlying skill that's not directly related to the cat. So it's such a stupid example, but it, it, for me, it makes it so clear that I'm like, your knowledge is one thing, but your underlying ability to get your message across, your underlying ability to apply, to knit these two together, to balance, to structure your thinking, to, to index the information, to interpret the question, those are underlying skills. And no matter how amazing your knowledge is, if you're not able to communicate whatever you know what's the point no at some point you're gonna to have to go to drawing classes and yeah. if you can go to drawing classes if your drawing skills improve then you will be able to draw a cat and a dog and a person and whatever else you want so the stuff that i work on students generally see as exam technique that goes over what they know yeah. and they go okay Vaughn, i'll come to you like two weeks before the exam and the kind of and i'm like no 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 it's it's the underlying skills that you need in order to be able to use the knowledge that you have. And that is why I work completely outside of all the subject matter. The questions that I give you are based obviously on your subject matter and all the rest of that. But I'm interested in how do you communicate? How, what's your communication style? Are you telling me what are you telling me what you think you're telling me? Are you saying what you think you are? Um, and how do I help you 